show. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'll tell you what, this has been a lot of fun talking a little bit about some of the rods that I have designed with ducket fishing. And this rod right here is really important on, on professional level. One technique that gets used a ton is flipping and pitching and fishing offshore. Um, and I designed this rod right here. It's my 7.6 heavy action rod for just that. And I, I fish offshore a lot, you guys know that. I, you know, and, and obviously I, I flip and pitch a lot. It's super important. And having that rod action is everything. This rod is paired with Keegan Guides. And on when you look at the bend profile of this rod, this is a, a parabolic bend. This is a great fluorocarbon flipping rod. This is a great rod for flipping up shallow. But also I wanted a rod, when I designed the 7.6 rod, I didn't want 76 heavy. I didn't want a rod that was too heavy, that it just made it completely just a flipping rod. The issue, you know, I wanted a rod that gave the the consumer ultimately multiple different things, you know, that you could roll with. And the reason why, if you make it too heavy of an action, what ends up happening is it really limits yourself to what you can do with it. And, and it uh, one for me. I wanted a rod, I like my flipping rod to be a little bit on the lighter side. And this is not super light, I'm not gonna say it's a, it's, a, it's a light action, but if you use this rod, you'll see what I'm talking about with parabolic, and as you set the hook and you spring those fish out of that cover, there's something really important with that and that action of this rod. Um, you'll just have to pick one up in an academy and see what you think about it. Um, as far as, you know, cosmetics, the, the red, white, and blue, my color with that blue, that little transition, that's always been a, um, you know, one of my favorite colors, that color blue. Um, and then my hook hanger right here. I like it because ultimately when I'm Texas rigging, I can put that on there. I don't have to unrig the bait. I can pull that up just a little bit. I'm able to put that Texas rig on there, lock it in place, and I'm good to go. Um, I, I, I pair this up with my seven or with a, a paradigm casting reel. Um, this one right here has a little bit different bling to it. Um, and this is actually going to be popping up in Academy stores very, very soon, exclusive at Academy. This is actually my signature series reel. Um, has a little bit of highlight, has the Jacob Wheeler logo. Pretty cool. I have not really talked about this a ton, but it's one that um, is definitely coming out very soon. Now, um, as, I, as I go through this rod, the other thing that I will use, I'll use a, a, a 10 inch worm on a fishing brush, fishing offshore with spoons. Um, this is the rod that I'll use a spoon rod for. You know what I'm throwing, now I won't throw a big giant magnum spoon on this rod necessarily, but it can handle, you know, like a five inch flutter spoon, even sometimes a six inch flutter spoon. Um, again, that parabolic action allows you to do a lot of different things to it, and that's why I use this right here. And then I'll use a heavier scrounger sometimes. So a seven, uh, you know, like a, if I'm throwing like a big profile one ounce scrounger uh, type bait with a big giant, you know, swim bait or a little, you know, fluke style bait on it. This is the rod I'll end up using a lot of times. I'll switch up and I'll even throw like 14 pound test on this, but it has enough to where that, when it loads up, it has enough power towards the backbone. Um, and then of course I will punch with this. Um, I do a lot of times use my, the 710 extra heavy black ice, but this is actually a pretty solid punching rod as well. When you get to flipping around and punching, um, if I'm getting very serious about it, you know, I will bump it up to where you know, I'm punching like super heavy mats, like down in Florida, like hyacinth mats, but hydrilla mats, flipping like, you know, a lot of matted vegetation around the house. This is the rod that, I, you know, it's a little bit easier, throw some braid on, put a one ounce weight, doinky, wop, big in. Um, so that's what it is. I mean, it is really my all around offshore rod, football jigs, big worms. It basically allows me to make those longer casts. Um, and I can really go with the finette. And this is also sort of a Carolina rig rod for me as well. I don't Carolina rig a ton, but when I do, I use this rod right here. Um, I can lean into them as well. So like thinking about 
more so length and making longer casts. This is what I designed this rod for. And then ultimately being a little bit on the lighter spectrum of a heavy, of a super heavy action flipping stick because I wanted it to be a versatile rod. And for those of you that fish offshore just as much as I do, where you could use this rod all day long. And when you pick it up in the store um, or at your local ducat retailer, you'll feel what I'm talking about. Is you pick it up, it's not a rod when you pick this up like a seven six super heavy action rod it just weighs it down and you, you can fish with this rod all day and that's what i wanted to have happen where it was sort of killing two birds with one stone and did exactly what i wanted to do um yeah and that's it my seven six heavy action casting rod it's legit so thank you guys so much for watching drop a comment below as always if you have a question i'm going to try to answer it thank you guys so much for watching see you soon